a hundred months ago. How many years is that? Five, six. Anthony Crawler has become champion of the world in front of his home crowd here in Manchester and taking the roof off. To share this night with him where he's won his world title when he was 28 and I'm 28 and now he said he's going to join this elite club of world champions who coach world champions. I think this is Anthony Crawler's week, really. Yeah, you're dead right it is. It's about what do you mean? Maybe it's about me. Did you remind him it's been 100 months since you won your world title? Did I fuck? I didn't. Yeah, you no, did. I did not. No, I didn't. I did not. Yeah, you did. I did not. It, it, what an anniversary, though, eh? It's like the stars are aligned. I joke with her and I go, you know, yeah, people are going to mention it and I wouldn't have even thought a bit about joining an elite club and being a world champion and training a world champion. But no, listen, all seriousness, that, that's nice. But it's for real. This week's, it's like the pivotal moment of my career, you know. I um, started off like half in, half out, doing my day job in the pharmacy, like trying to smush everything in together. And then it's kind of like, I was able to get sponsorship so that I could take this leap to then be a professional boxer full time. And now it's kind of like everything's falling into place. I see how hard she works, how she dedicates herself. She leaves no stone left unturned. I think it's an amazing story. I started thinking about boxing when I initially saw Ronda Rousey on TV. And um, she was going, every muscle in my body serves a purpose. I'm not a do nothing, B-I-T-C-H. And I was looking at myself in the mirror like, wow, no muscle in your body serves a purpose. So I initially wanted to get into MMA. She's in the gym with the boys and the yeah. scores where she'll beat, she'll beat most of them on certain exercises. She just, she doesn't take that as an answer. There's no boys, girls and stuff like that. She, she does what they do and does it better than a lot of them. Seeing the likes of, you know, Katie Taylor, Chantelle Cameron, all these girls that have come before me and fighting for these world titles, like paving the way for women's boxing. I think that me watching them starting my pro career, I thought, wow, like I'd love to be in that position and now I'm in it. When I first saw Rihanna and I just, I just think, you know, a real rough diamond, just, I just had, I just believe she just needed some polishing, but I just thought, what a talent, what an athlete. She come to me, she's had two professional fights, but I just feel oh, I had to change a few things. I just thought, I just seen a very aggressive, heavy-handed southpaw. I just wanted her to use her Southport assets and hopefully that's what we've been doing. Having Anthony in my corner, it's a massive confidence, you know, someone who's been there and done that. Like, his nights at the AO and when he went over to fight Lomachenko, these are huge events and so really, you can't buy that experience. The fighting pride of Manchester! I've had a great career and I've loved every minute of it, but I know it's time to go now. And um, Manchester, thank you so much. It means the world to me, that arena. You don't understand, like, I was a young lad um, getting tickets bought in the upper tier without pocket money or birthday presents and just open one day, I'd have nights like that on my own. I was here at the darts the other week. I was, I've been at concerts with, you know, family, I'm a little lad or whatever. And, and I can't see anything other than the boxing ring in the middle. That's all I can see. My relationship with the AO, I had my first matchroom fight at the AO arena and I was awful. I was awful and I got out of the ring and I said to Anthony, oh, do you think he'll have me back? Like it was, and he was like, whoa, what are you going on about? Like you did really well. And I was like, no, I'm not. I can do a million times better. So I'm fighting Karen Carabajal. She's only lost to Katie Taylor. I feel like I know, I feel like we're best friends. I've watched so much on her, like when I'm at the gym doing this, doing that, like, so when I saw her today, I was like, oh, how you go? And then I bet she was thinking, what? Like, we don't know each other. Bueno, a Dixon la, la vi, la verdad que me parece una gran boxeadora, una buena boxeadora, eh, rápida, zurda, con buena técnica. Pero bueno, yo me preparé este momento para, para demostrar mi mejor versión y siento que estoy lista para, para ganarle. She went 10 rounds with Katie Taylor. She's got the experience. Um, and I'm expecting a really good fight. Like I say, every time I step up in levels, I believe it shows a better version of me because it's like a dance partner. The better the dance partner, the better you are. And I think that Saturday night will show the best version of me. This has probably come a fight or two earlier than probably certainly expected. It's a fight 
I strongly believe she wins and she wins well. I think this is the start of like building my own legacy now. I see like Katie and Chantel and all these others coming. Like young girls look up to them and then like girls today at that gym asking for pictures with me and I'm like, well, you want a picture with me? Why? I've not even done anything. <laughs> She followed the dream and on Saturday night she's got a chance to make a dream come true and she will make a dream come true. I've gone through this fight so many times at night. I wake up in bed and I go, I've just done 10 rounds in my sleep and I'm still not a world champion. I thought, I thought I'd already won already, but I know I can do it. And uh, I think that Saturday night is going to be a night where I look back on it and go, oh, I wish I could relive it again. This is going to be the best night of my life and I just can't wait for it.